Hello, this is Mr. O. Today, I want to talk about, is the wimpy kid a bully? Let me read an extract from the second wimpy kid book. I want you to think about what is funny for you in these two pages. Kids whose last names start with the first few letters of the alphabet get called on the most by the teacher, and that's why they end up being the smartest. Some people think that's not true, but if you want to come down to my school, I can prove it. I can only think of one kid who broke the last name rule, and that's Peter Utega. Peter was the smartest kid in the class all the way up until fifth grade. That's when a bunch of us started giving him a hard time about how his initials sounded when you said them out loud. Teacher, the answer to that question is P-U, P-U, yeah, P-U, P-U. So P-U sounds like P-U, which is what you say when something smells bad. These days, Peter doesn't raise his hand at all, and he's pretty much a C student. I guess I feel a little bad about the whole PU thing, and what happened to Peter, but it's hard not to take credit whenever it comes up. I started that. I think it's funny because Greg started it and everybody followed him. I think it is funny because um, the student says pew pew. I think it's funny because the boy started pu and everybody followed and Peter stopped raising his hand up. Peter is smelly. <laughs> I thought Greg was the funniest because he said I started that P-U, 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 P-U. 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 P-U is funny. <laughs> I think P-U is funny. I think P-U is very <laughs> funny too. P-U, P-U, yeah, P-U. The thing is, this is actually a kind of bullying. It's name calling and it's had such a bad effect on Peter Utega that he's gone from the smartest kid in the class to pretty much a C-grade student who doesn't raise his hand at all. Greg, the wimpy kid, seems to understand this, but overall he's happy that he started it. A bully is someone who hurts another person. A bully hurts them verbally, physically, socially, or with technology. A bully does this again and again for days, weeks, months, or even years. A bully does this to feel stronger or more powerful. Here are some examples. Verbal, this means using words. Name calling, gossip, threats, humiliating, or undermining. Physical, this means using the body, hitting, pushing, stealing, intimidating. Social. This means using friendship or other people. Ignoring, isolating, excluding, manipulating. With technology. This means using phones or computers. Name calling, gossiping, making threats, humiliating with pictures and videos, intimidating with phone calls or messages. We can see that this is name calling. We can see that it happened again and again, and we can see that it hurt Peter. This is not the only thing that Greg does. The next month, Shirag Gupta returns to school after being away since last year. Greg decides to pretend he can't see Shirag and gets everyone in his class to join in. This really upsets Shirag, but Greg keeps it going day after day after day. In fact, it only stops a week later when Greg's mother 
makes him say sorry to Shirag. As with Peter, Greg is quite happy about what he does to Shirag, and he even thinks that Shirag should say sorry to him. For me though, the worst things that Greg does are to his friend Rowley. Greg treats Rowley really badly. He is rude to Rowley, he humiliates him, he undermines him, he hits and pushes him, he steals things from him, he intimidates him, he isolates him, he even manipulates him. And overall, I don't think he's a really good friend. So, is the wimpy kid a bully? The answer to this lies in my first question to you. I want you to think about what is funny for you in these two pages. We laugh at things that surprise us. Mr. Bean says Merry Christmas to a mouse. He takes out some cheese. We think it's a present. Then he puts it in a mouse trap with a wicked smile. We laugh. The Wimpy Kid books are like this too. We expect Greg to see what he has done wrong and to learn from it, but he doesn't again and again and again. The Wimpy Kid books are funny because they show us a person who never learns. Like Mr. Bean, he is cruel, but he doesn't know that he is cruel and that's why it's funny. But I'm worried that young people who read the Wimpy Kid books don't really understand this. Maybe they think that the joke about Peter is funny because his name sounds like P.U. Bullying is really serious and I want to help you to understand it so that we can stop it together. I was bullied at school. Some people in my French class used to take my bag and take things out and throw them around. One person used to call me names, trying to say that I was stupid. This was very painful to me. And even now, 20 years later, I still remember it. If you are bullied, you must tell someone. Tell someone you like and that you trust. It can be a teacher, your mum and dad, someone else in your family, or even somebody else's mum and dad. Tell them that you need to talk about something, but that you don't want them to do anything about it until you are ready. If you see someone else being bullied, please don't just stand there and watch. Bullies need other people to keep quiet in order to keep making their victims feel bad and make themselves feel stronger. Again, talk to someone you trust if you see this and ask them to be careful how they manage it. So, is the wimpy kid a bully? Yes, maybe. In the story. It's not real. It's supposed to be funny. So, enjoy the books, but just remember why they are funny.